let's start. Goosebumps is directed by Rob Letterman and it stars Jack Black as R.L. Stein. Now, the basic story is that this kid, played by Dylan McDermott and his mom, move to a new town and kind of start over again. When they move into their new house, Zach discovers that their next door neighbor, Hannah, played by Odessia Rush, is actually Stein's daughter. For circumstances that I won't say, Zack breaks into Stein's house and accidentally opens one of his manuscripts which has one of his original stories, one being The Abominable Snowman. The moment that book gets open, essentially it's Jumanji style hell. All the creatures from every story begin to break loose and become practically real. And by practically, I mean they're real. And now it's up to Zack and the others, including Stein himself, to go and try to capture these monsters and put them back in their books, right where they belong. Very typical story. And that alone, I somewhat enjoyed it. I really did. Now, maybe it's because of nostalgia. Maybe it's because of the fact that it didn't bore me. But the sheer fact is, this was a very solid movie. Jack Black's performance of R.L. Stein is... What's the nicest way of saying Nicolas Cage like? He plays this over eccentric kind of control freak version of who R.L. Stein really is and it worked pretty well. Black knows exactly when to use his freak out moments and when exactly to hold them back. As for the other characters, besides Black, I basically enjoyed them all. Th this was a very solid cast of characters, especially the guy who played Champ. I believe his name is Ryan Lee. He's the comedic comfort. <laughs> he pretty much comes in, does some kind of funny thing to himself, and we the audience are supposed to laugh at that. Which, you know, I didn't quite laugh as much, but he wasn't an annoying shit. Back to the other performances, Dylan played a very well understood protagonist, and as for Odea Rush, she plays a very good performance of Stein's daughter. You get to see how different she is from the other students around the town of Madison, where they are living in right now. Some doubts about this movie is kind of the beginning. It's a bit of a slow burn for this movie. Granted, because that's how a lot of these movies kind of start off with, these coming of age, where the main protagonist has to deal with something that has been affecting him emotionally, and in the end, we figure out that, you know, he's somewhat overcome his problem. But instead of talking his feelings, he's beating up gnomes or getting chased by the abominable snowman. <laughs> Not everything's perfect. This movie kind of had some problems. One being its stability. You see, I'm still kind of at a young age, so even younger me was somewhat influenced by Goosebumps. I read a lot of the stories and I was somewhat scared and that was Goosebumps' main job. It was supposed to scare kids, almost terrify them, which it did for me. I think the movie had trouble telling us what kind of movie it was trying to be. Another major problem I have I saw when I saw this movie is that it might have relied too heavily on the nostalgia factor. but. Just because it's basic doesn't really make it a bad movie, which by no means, this movie is not a bad movie. In the end, if you're a fan of Goosebumps movies, and if you have kids who you want to show them how Goosebumps was like, yes, by all means, go watch this movie. This movie is very solid. It has its few problems, but it's still, in the end, a very watchable movie. Now, I know what you're thinking, watchable is kind of used as a bad term, but in reality, the sheer fact that a movie can be watchable, that means people have seen it, and seen it in a positive way, in my opinion. So this movie, by all means, is very watchable. What did you think about this movie? Did it scare you? Did it make you laugh? If so, comment below. I would love to know, and also, I hope you like and 
for the record, this is my first time doing this, so hi there. If so, comment below. I'd be very interested in looking at it. Also, if you'd like, subscribe, leave a like button. This is my first video, and I really hope you enjoy it. And also, I'm probably going to get better and better at this. Fingers crossed. <laughs> With that, my name's Michael, and I hope you guys have a very good night.